Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com, and welcome. Well, here it is. Here is the market over the high, and I've been calling this actually for the last month, and it did it today. And I actually did say this morning that the market was going to do this and made made uh, probably one of the best calls uh, I've made in, in the, the market for a long time, uh, not just because it was accurate, but because it was, it was hard. Uh, it, this was a real hard read in the market today. And I, uh, I called the market as a buy at 9:31. I didn't do this trade, uh, but I called it in the room. Although I did actually buy the market today, I actually bought the market this afternoon. <clears throat> but this is the trade I called this morning. So to buy the market over the high of this one-minute bar with the stop under the low of the day, and at the time I called it, I didn't realize it that it was actually 82. And as soon as I saw that, I said, oh, my Lanta, the market is going to go over the high today. And I said that this morning that the market was not going to really come in. And I also said that it was so tricky because the market was gapping down. The market was gapping down today. And actually, here's where the market was gapping. Look. The market was actually triggering on what looks like a daily sell setup, but it wasn't a daily sell setup. Why? Because the market's in an uptrend. So I didn't think that this was anything at all, and I knew this wasn't going to break, and I really thought the market was an immediate long today. I, I, I actually said this morning at 8 o'clock, the play today is to buy the market on a one-minute high. I, I, I said it, I said, and it did it. It did it, and I called it, and it did it. And I knew then the market was going to power trend all day. I knew the market was going to get over that high area, and, and I've been talking about this for the last week or more, uh, that we were going to break over this area of 83.50, and... Not only that, that I knew this wouldn't hold. Why? Because double tops don't hold. It, it isn't a strategy. It doesn't have anything to do. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. And traders traded. And I knew that tons of traders would be tripped up in this today, thinking the market was uh, going to come in because the market had an appearance. It was an illusion. That's how I described this morning in trading room. That's what I was talking about this morning. I said this is an illusion, it, meaning that it, it has an appearance of bearishness, but it's actually an illusion. That's exactly the way that I described the market this morning. I don't know why I, I surprise myself when I'm so accurate. I, I really surprise myself how accurate I called the market today. I mean, I just nailed it. It was one of the best calls I've ever made in the market, not just because it was accurate, but because it was a it was a... It was a hard call that I made spot on, and I just saw it. So there it is. So I actually ended up deciding to buy the market today. The girl that loves to go short uh, bought the market today. I just had to do it. So I bought the market here. This was between uh, around the 115. This isn't a five-minute chart, but it was just a really, really nice tight entry. And I put a tight, tight stop, um, took it up. Uh, over 98 and put a tight, tight stop here at like 91. Um, and then when it ran up here and triggered, I actually lowered the stop to 94. Because this is, you know, this is a 115 is not the best time to be taking new trades. But I actually knew that there was nothing that was going to stop the market today. I just knew that the market was going to get all the way over the high today. I knew the, I knew the target for the market was 83.50. And so I figured, well, 50 cents. 50 cents with a nothing stop, and that's what I did. Actually came down in here um, and had another setup. You could have done an add in here or taken a brand new trade. Again, 10 by 03, and then the 15 minute was here. It was 11, I think. Yeah, it was 11 by 03. So you could have done an add here or a new trade as well and taken the market into the close. This, you know, so I, I did buy the market this afternoon. I actually bought the market this afternoon and got a nice move in it. I had to do it. Uh, I saw that it was there. It was opportunity. It was like opportunity. And I might go long two days a year. I might go long one day a year. This might have been the only day I'll go long the rest of the year. I can't remember the last time I did go long this year, but I had to do it. It was there. It was saying, take me, take me. And so I did it. So the area up here was 48. Um, we are basically... I think going to gap up a little bit tonight. Where are we? Oh, no, we got up to 58 into the close. Well, we'll have to see what we do tomorrow. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what we're going to do exactly tomorrow until we actually uh, get up in the morning and see where we're gapping. 
Uh, I, I think we're higher tomorrow too. I think this is going to lift off and be higher tomorrow. Uh, it, unless we gap up so much tomorrow morning that we just can't do it from where we got. But this is clearly bullish. I've been saying the market was going to rally into the close of the end of the year. And I mean, it's nowhere near the end of the year. It's only November 13th. So who's to say? But market's holding the bullishness, holding the bear, bullish gap from back here. This bearish day that happened last Thursday was nothing but a pull into support. And that was it. So, you know, entries make such a big difference when you're trading. It's just, it, when you take the right entry in something, it can make the world a difference. If you have a good entry with a good risk reward, you can have a huge trade um, with a tiny stop. And if you have um, an improper entry or don't put the stop at the right place, uh, you won't be able to hold on to a trade when it does something. So it's, you know, it's just like one of these things where understanding how to take a trade and get the entry right and where to put the stop is so meaningful when you trade. Because uh, it can take one like little move here like this. Even this little move in here was a nice 17 cents move from, from this buy in here. More than that, it was almost 20 with a teeny weeny stop. If you'd gotten out here, but I mean, I knew that it was going to go up and break over the high. But you could have lowered the stop here after this set up. And then not even taken anymore if you didn't want to, and you would have been protected up in profit. So, you know, knowing how to take specific entries and trades and also the time of the day to take them and where to put the stop makes a world of difference in your trading to be able to make money. Really, really reading the, the gap, taking the strategy, and then the entries. But entries are important. It's, it's just so important to be able to get your position right. It's not just the price that you hit it. It's your position sizing. It's where you're putting the stop. It's everything. It's all got to be there. And it all has to coordinate. Time of day, entry for the position, sizing yourself, stop at the right place. And not only that, obviously the exit. Because really, here when this ran up here, you're bar by barring it now. Oh, no, this is on the five. It was on the one. Hold on. You're bar by barring it here now, you know, because you're, you're, it's, you know, so close to the end of the day that you're bar by barring it to get out. And I actually didn't get this last push up here. I actually got out here as soon as this broke here under 40, I was out. So I didn't get this last like 10 cents. It was just too late in the day. It's 10 of uh, four at this point, but this was a great trade. I mean, this is a great trade from where I took it. And uh, so, you know, the, the market is going to possibly hit up over 84 tomorrow. We might gap up over there. If we don't, the target, the first target tomorrow is 84, depending on where we open tomorrow. We're very bullish if we gap up, but I'm not sure how we'll trade intraday if we gap up too far. So I have to look at that. Uh, but this is a very nice chart. And when you see a power trend move in, in the market or a stock, you could almost do every proper entry, every proper setup. You could, you could do all of them. Uh, of course, again, you'd have to know where the entries are. But you could do every single one you see as soon as you see that the market is actually uh, going to power trend, which there was nothing stopping it. I mean, I even thought the market was going to come in for a brief, uh, brief little 15 minute down in here in the morning. It didn't do it. Here, here it did it, and it was so, so teeny weeny. It just came down a little bit here to 82.50, and then look at that. This is a great chart. Really nice power trend in the market. So if you are interested in the entries course to learn how to do entries in positions and size yourself correctly, I'm doing the last entries course of the year next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, November 19th and 20th. It's from 1 p.m. to 6 o'clock at night. Eastern time. Uh, the cost is $1,800. If you are interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Again, this is the last entries course for the year. This is a new class um, that I just wrote over the summer. I've only actually done it once so far. Uh, this is the second time I'm doing it, so it should be interesting. And I find a lot of people have difficulty with position sizing and entries. And people were asking me to write a class about this, so I did. And it's it's complex. I mean, it's something you have to learn how to do right. But it certainly pays. Uh, because even this move here in the market today with the risk to reward, even the trade I took, which was late. This is late. This is a late time to take a trade here at 115. But the trade I called this morning, let's just see what the risk to reward was. I had done that, which I didn't. I think it was 10 by 98. I think it was.
was 8210 by 98. And then obviously the target was 8350. Yep. So 8210, 8350 was the target, which got two. So that was $1.40. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. That's an over 10 hour trade. That was a great call I made. I, I don't know why I didn't do it. <laughs> I called it in the in the trading room though for anybody that wanted to do it incredible and there was, there was so many opportunities to do ads so I mean just it was an over 10 hour trade just from the call I made this morning and you were up money immediately and never looked back and could have just kept learning the stop and then there was the all the ads that you could have done here was a here was a here was a first ad here 11 15 and then one here at the 12 o'clock and then 1 15 and this one here that happened into the three o'clock time so I have to sit down and figure this out what this could have been but this was an amazing call and this is more than a 10 hour trade it's like a 12 hour trade just from one tight entry so it really makes a difference if you know uh, how, to, how to do entries right and, and I am good at doing that I'm, I'm really good at doing that in the one minute chart I, I'm really good at reading entries on the one minute chart aggressively and knowing where to take the trade and put the stop and I see them on the 5 and the 15 as well when I do later time frames. Uh, I typically don't trade the afternoon. However, I just knew the market was going to do it today. It was an opportunity just sitting there, and it just didn't make any sense not to do it. So, so I did it. So this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. If you would like more information or to sign up for the entries course, feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Uh, this is the QQQs. Great call I made of the market. I actually called the market yesterday in a market video. And now here is the market today. And called the market very well this morning that the gap down really was an illusion and was not going to fall through. And that we were going to break over the high. And that is what we did. How do I know how to read charts so well? How am I so good at reading price? Uh, how did I get the, to be so skilled at doing this? It's because I know how to read gaps. I really, really know how to read gaps and gaps actually teach you how to read charts well and price well and everything and look here we're gapping up after hours so we're gonna gap up tonight so email me if you're interested in the entries course Melissa at the stocks thanks everyone have a great night